So here in Los Angeles, our Greg Rosenthal joining us. Uh, Greg, let's, let's start with, with your reaction. Uh, how do you feel about the decision to let Des go? I'm a little surprised, and I think it was the right move, but it's the move that the Cowboys historically have not made. This is a franchise that has been sentimental over the years, that has kept their really great players, and Des Bryant has been a great player for them, all-time leader in touchdown catches. They usually keep those players too long. If the Cowboys have made any mistakes in the front office under Jerry Jones, it's usually self-scouting. They have given a lot of big-time contracts to players that they already had that they fall in love with, uh, too much money, and then they often keep them too long. I think this is a move that makes a lot of sense to me, and it's a move, if we saw it on any other franchise, I don't know if we're breaking into coverage, and I think it wouldn't be controversial. It would be an important move because of the place he has in the franchise, but it was clear to me, and I think it was clear to the Cowboys, that he was no longer worth that sort of money. He was getting one-on-one -on -one matchups repeatedly throughout last year. He was not getting double teams, and he was not winning those battles. And I think the Cowboys rightly put it more on Des Bryant than they did their quarterback, Dak Prescott. Greg, the number $12.5 million in salary this year, uh, 16 against the cap. What would that number have been? Where do you think that they would have found a middle point in value to keep Des around if that's something that they wanted to do? I, I wonder if they even went to him for a, a pay cut based on what Des Bryant just tweeted out, that it was not his decision. If he was willing to go down to $7, $8 million uh, and possibly make some more back in incentives, that could have made sense. He can still play in the NFL. He'll get signed elsewhere. But I do think you get into trouble long term as a franchise when you are paying guys superstar money that just aren't superstars. And Des Bryant has the competitiveness of a superstar, but he no longer has the production of a superstar. Greg Rosenthal.